Kelly and Doug, a lot of people gathering here tonight at UNMH, hoping that the mother who was driving that sedan yesterday morning will soon wake up. Meanwhile, a very somber day at Sandia High School, as a lot of students there found out that their friend, Shaylee Bowling, died in that incident. Today is Elise Judah's birthday. Usually she'd spend it with her lifelong best friend, Shaylee. Usually every year we have a sleepover or something and hang out and celebrate it. But not this year. And it will hurt us for a very long time out of something just so stupid. Albuquerque police say Shaylee died Wednesday morning in this horrific car crash. The teen's mother, Shauna, in critical condition at UNMH. A toddler who was also in the car at the time suffered a broken leg, but the family tells me he will be okay. I have set up a GoFundMe page. Friends are trying to be optimistic, now fundraising for the hurting family, trying to help with the mounting medical and funeral expenses. Also starting to plan a candlelight vigil. It's just so heartbreaking. I can barely stand it. The memorial at the crash site growing bigger by the minute. Albuquerque police still looking for the male and female suspects. They did a horrible thing. The journal reporting that after that crash, Albuquerque police believe the two suspects then stole another truck and stashed it here in this random driveway near Manal in Pennsylvania. Detectives are now taking fingerprints. And police say they're waiting on an autopsy to figure out exactly how that teenager Shaylee Bowling died. We're told that Sandia High School will be offering safe rooms and also counseling again tomorrow. Reporting live at UNMH tonight, I'm Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 News.